Academy. So, yeah, there is a lot to do. Um, this is the fourth episode now. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Um, spoiler alert, at the end of the last episode, I spent a good chunk of time falling out of a tree. It's pretty funny. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check it out. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, let's jump back into the mystery and... Guess who just got a note from the Black Cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. And <laughs> don't a worry. Kid, but very interesting. I'm not the doctor. What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. <laughs> Enjoy. Goodbye. Come on in. It's already open. What's the word? I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? Not great. She really misses this place. More likely she's concerned about falling behind in her schoolwork and not making valedictorian. You two are roommates, yet you don't seem to be friends. Why is that? We're just not, that's all. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. Okay. <gasps> it's snowing? Oh my gosh, we gotta go outside. Yeah, I mean, Rachel's not going to want to talk to us anyway, because uh, we still got to take pictures. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? What, yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. <sighs> but before I give it to you... What now? Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Uh, air hockey. Air hockey. Excellent. <laughs> One for the good guys! <laughs> I got a point! Woo.
You beat me. Nice job. There's the menu. Thank you. About time. Need anything else? Nope. Sure I'd better no. get going. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay, people. I'm ready to take your orders. Before I get demerited. All right. Water. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I no love way. when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good whiff of his aftershave. Oh, girls. Order up. <laughs> Come get your order. Bread, cheese, and tomatoes. Water and nuts. Come get your order. Bagel, meat, bagel, granola, apple, and oops, chocolate bar, and water. Order up. Toasted bagel. All right. Stepping it up a notch. Granola. There. All done. All right. Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure out. Oh, way to get in there. <gasps> it is snowing. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's take a picture. That is pretty. Oh, I love it. I love the snow. Oh my gosh, gotta take another picture. Yes, and save all pictures of snow. Is that the tree we need? I, I don't know. Well, let's just take a picture of both. They're still gossiping about me. check that off yet. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Did that. Check. 
Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a little star thing that I had to get back from the squirrel. Done that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Apparently missing something in the foyer. Okay. Let's get back to it then. Okay. That's done. Okay. It's probably some puzzle at the pan bleh, bleh. probably some puzzle at the piano. I have to figure it out. Sorry, I forgot how to words for a moment there. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Haven't done that. I mean, I kind of did. Okay. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Okay. How's it going? Is this barrette yours by any chance? I found it outside. It's not mine, but I know whose it probably is. Who? Little Miss I'm so goth, I'm cool. Mel. I need to get going. Okay. Adios.
was missing a picture of something though. Yeah, the wooden states. Okay. What's up, Rumi? I found this barrette outside. Thought it might be yours. Nah, I don't do barrettes. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I'd better get going. Bye. Later. Okay. Yeah? How about that? This How door's not it? locked. That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. Alright. It's already open. I'm here! I can't talk now. Okay. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. <laughs> wow. That was a unexpected sound. Okay, people. I'm ready to take your orders. Alright, toasted bread. I just heard that Ms. Lambert asked Mr. Harris out for coffee. And I just heard he turned her down! Order's ready! Pretzels, chocolate bar. All I said was she should try using brown mascara instead of black, and she totally wigged out. Come get your order! Yes, please. Don't have all day here, people. I have a mystery to solve. Come get your order! Milk, uh, pretzels, and chocolate bar. Come get your order. Cookie. And milk. This is making me hungry. <laughs> there. All done. Can't check that off yet. Hey, what's going on? I found this barrette outside. Is it yours? Heck no, I've never worn a barrette in my life. Okay. What else do you want to know? Nothing. I'd better get going. <laughs> Okie dokie. Better go before she ropes me into playing a game. We played air hockey, so she should be good for a little bit, right? It's already open. Come on in. You've got my snack. Awesome. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks. All yours. Thank you. What else is going on? Is this by any chance your barrette? Yeah, it is. Hey, thanks for finding it. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. Okay. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. Huh, okay. Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. 
About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. What happens if you don't want to be a member? I have no idea. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it. I'd better get going. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. It's a trap, <laughs> but I'm going to take the bait anyway. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. You just said it was clear. Someone lied to me. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. Enjoy. How's it going? I've harassed you enough. Pop in anytime! That is a lot of information. Probably have to play them in order. Have to do that. Still have to do that. Check. Check. That's done. Check. Did that. Can't check that off yet. What was the whole menu thing for anyway? I have to go in there after dark would be nice.
Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. No, what makes you say that? <laughs> so far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing <laughs> body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh yeah. She rules the roost around here, <laughs> that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmate's boyfriend. Now that's just asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. Yeah, She's a valedictorian? <laughs> yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now? Nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. For it big time. Keep going. Who else? This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor <laughs> taste in shoes? She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited. I am excited. I like <laughs> earning credits. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. I mean, I've only gotten one note so far. As long as I don't get a second note... I'm get fine. this. There's a group of girls here that dress up in dark cloaks and meet secretly in the middle of the night. How do you know that? I saw them. What were you doing awake in the middle of the 
night. Chasing a squirrel. Chasing a squirrel? I had to find its den so I could retrieve something it had stolen. So, you were actually up in the oak tree? Yeah, but <sighs> it's a long story. So how does this secret society or whatever it is fit in with your investigation? Well, remember that teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell? She mentioned a chant in this journal of hers that I found. And that's what this group was doing, chanting. According to Mel, the group is called the Blackwood Society, and it's been around since the school was founded. Everything about it is so secret that Mel doesn't even know who the other members are. So what does this Blackwood Society do? Nothing. They just get together every so often and chant. Isn't that weird? Very. Nancy, my girlfriend just told me she's been climbing trees and chasing squirrels <laughs> in the dead of night. So when it comes to what's weird and what isn't, you're asking the wrong person. The school administration accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, turns out she was innocent. You sure about that? Yep. Sure am. I'm the one who cleared her. So what was the deal? Well, it appears she was framed by the guy who used to be dating Leela, but is now dating Izzy. Whoa. Untangling that little web should keep you busy for a while. Guess who got her very own black cat note? You? Yep. Wait a minute. I thought you said only valedictorian candidates got notes. Maybe the black cat just assumes that since I'm on this floor, I'm a candidate too. That could be. Or maybe I'm wrong and the notes have nothing to do with being valedictorian. Or maybe someone knows you're not who you say you are and is telling you to back off. That too, but don't worry. Bad things don't happen unless you get two notes. In that case, let's get something straight. If you get another note, I do not want to know about it. <laughs> Okay, noted. A hint would come in very handy right about now. Tell me what you need and I'll do my best. There's a room or two around here that I'd very much like to get into. Only I don't have a key, if you get my drift. Check the school's website and see if anyone there has recently had a similar problem. And if so, what they did to ID a solution. Excellent. Thanks. You need anything else, just call. Will do. Bye, big guy. Okay, so an ID card to get the door open. Where do I get an ID How's it going? I need to get going. Pop in anytime. Can't check that off yet. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. You can come in. How about that? This door's not talk locked. Now.
What's up, Rumi? I'd better get going. Bye. Enjoy. I'm here. How about that? This door's not locked. What's the word? I'd better get going. Drop in any time. Nobody's any help. <laughs> Hey, Nan. What's going on? Think you could give me a hint? Hints are my middle name. There's a room or two around here that I'd very much like to get into. Only I don't have a key, if you get my drift. Check the school's website and see if anyone there has recently had a similar problem. And if so, what they did to ID a solution. Excellent. Thanks. If you need anything else, just call. Okay. Will do. Bye, big guy. I beat the top score. Oh. Take that, <laughs> Izzy. Okay, so how do I get an ID card then? How's it going? Did you see that I beat your double take no. score? <laughs> well, enjoy the sweet taste of victory while you can, because you won't be on top for long. Winning is something I'm real good at. I'll catch you later. Pop in any time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need to actually go back to my computer. Let's look at these photos that are apparently the wrong photo. All right. 
Okay, so that's of her cat, so it is the wrong photo. Oh, cool. over yet. Okay. Da, da, da. None of that is relevant right now. Haven't done that. I don't know where to get an ID card. This is frustrating. Ugh. All right. What's going on? That's it for now. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know where to get an ID card. You can come in. It's already open. What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while, and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her. Okay? Sure. One math notebook coming up. Great. I'll go so you can get back to work. So long. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. That sure got around fast. <laughs> it's already open. I'm here. Come on in. What's the word? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Oh my God. Nuts, I left it in the library. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. I'll let you get back to your music. Okay. Door's always open. All right. Back to the library. Hi.
How's it going? I need to get going. No prob. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Still have to do that. Yeah, I'm not seeing the notebook. What the heck? How hard can it be to find a notebook? Alright guys, I'm going to be ending the episode here. There's still quite a bit to do, but I'll have to get to it later. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always love it. Already. Be sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate the support from my channel. Thank you so much for watching.